The light utility vehicle wheeled, or LUVW, more popularly known as the G-Wagon, has now been with the Canadian Forces for over two and a half years. With the vehicle in service both in Canada and overseas, soldiers have had a chance to form an impression. Our team in Shiloh recently spent the day with soldiers on the G-Wagon conversion course. Sergeant Power has more. We've had the G-Wagon for about two years now. A lot of people still haven't seen them or driven them. Sergeant Chernyowski's had 404s for 16 years and he's on his G-Wagon conversion course right now. And he's gonna give us his first impressions. Sergeant Chernyowski, what do you think of the vehicle? Driven the Altus before. I, I love the Altus. I could get anywhere in and out with an Altus. I like this vehicle even better. I can take this vehicle where I don't think even the Altus could go. This vehicle is, uh, is automatic but it also has a tap shift system, which makes it sort of a semi-automatic vehicle. I can get into gear just by tapping the shift lever. And this is especially handy, let's say if you have an armored package on here and the vehicle might be a little bit slow to pick up, but what you do is you tap it into gear and then you can basically kickstart the vehicle and get it into power when you really need to. And this, I'm sure, would come in handy in operations. Sergeant Pat Debien is an instructor on the G-Wagon course and he's going to give us his insights on the vehicle. Very efficient vehicle, um, lots of horsepower which is what you know every soldier wants when you want to, when you step on the gas you want to be able to go somewhere. Um, the up armor package was outstanding. My experiences with the, uh, with the Love W have been really positive uh, both in training and while I was deployed. Um, for the six and a half months I was in Kandahar in the city, any patrolling we did, we had three vehicles with our uh, with my section and uh, myself, the troops, everybody that we were working with, were extremely happy with them. You can carry a, an appropriate amount of kit. With the, the, uh, there are some downfalls to that, of course. One of them being where the radio tray is located in the back of the vehicle. With inside the cab itself, between the uh, the driver and the crew commander, there's a uh, console there with a with a fuse box and a battery inside. If that could be moved somehow, either forward or, or just out of the way in general, it's a nice armrest. However, but for, uh, it decreases your mobility if you have to get out of the vehicle in a hurry. Uh, weapons racks in the back, not the best location the first thing we did with those vehicles, so we took the weapons racks out. They're absolutely useless there. If you were to get into a firefight situation, absolutely useless. Good for training, that's about it. Overall, this is an outstanding vehicle by far. Probably one of the best that Canada's entered into service in the last 10 to 15 years. Everyone that I've worked with shares the same opinion on what needs to be improved, and as well shares the same opinion on what is really so fantastic about this truck. If you haven't driven a G-Wagon before, you're going to like it when you do. It's a big improvement over what we had before, and as we talked about earlier, it does have some faults, which could be easily fixed. For Army News in Shiloh, I'm Sergeant Dennis Power.